Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. In this short video, we're going to discuss how to add an MPA2 controller to WinPack version 4.8. Step 1. Using Google Chrome, browse into the controller. The default address is https colon slash slash 192.168.1.150. Log into the controller. If this is the first time logging in, the username is admin, the password is admin. You will be prompted to change your password upon login. Once logged in, you will land on the dashboard. In the top left hand corner, you've got the menu. Click on the button at the top, that'll bring you to the user menu. Select Panel Configuration, and that will take you to the Panel Configuration window. In the Panel Configuration window, you can set the IP address of the device. It's strongly recommended you set this to a static address. At this point, you can change the IP address. In the IP address field, change it to an IP address that suits the installation. After you've typed the address, in the bottom right hand corner, is a button mark save. Press the save button. The panel will reinitialize and then reboot. After the panel reboots, browse into the control on its new IP address. You'll land in the same menu again. This time, click on panel configuration, then on host loop communications. Note, three options, Web, Wimpack or Max Pro. In this instance, click on Wimpack. That will change the user interface window. Press Save. Note, the port number is 2101. Whilst the panel's upgrading, you'll get the warning window. Once complete, you will see the successfully saved icon at the top. Click on disable encryption. Press save. You'll get the standard warning. Press OK. Now confirm we've got the right settings. You can see disable encryption is ticked and the port number is 3001. The device is now ready to add to Wimpack. Run Wimpack in the usual fashion, log in with your username and password, and wait for the interface to start. Now let's add the controller and configure the controller into the database. Go to Configuration, Device, and then Device Map. On devices, right click and then add, and then we're going to add an MPA gateway panel. Give the panel a name. Choose a communication type, TCIP. Type in the address of the device. Most importantly, after this, we have to add this ADV. Click on add. Press OK, then press Next. Make sure all the code card formats that we want are there, especially 38-bit. Press Next. Holidays, have we got all the holidays we want for this door? The answer is yes. Next. Maybe add the site code if you like. In this instance, we're powering this device on PoE, so select PoE power so you don't get battery warnings. Click Next. Now for the reader. On the ADV button, press Add. Change the reader name if you like. Be descriptive as to the reader, its location in the building so you can find it. 
press OK once that's done. Then for reader 2, click on 2, add, change its name if you like. Maybe call it reader 2, press OK. Make sure you don't leave any blank spaces, just back tab, press OK. Press next. Input. On input 1, click on the ADV and click add. This is the exit button for door 1. 2, add. That's the door status input for door 1. Door 2, add, same as before. You'll notice I'm changing the inputs from normally closed to normally open. So for the exit buttons, normally open. For door status, it can be normally closed or normally open. Depends on your door contact or if you're using a door contact. Once you've finished, press OK. Outputs. This is your lock output. So for door 1, lock output, you click add on ADV, make sure it's OK. Number 3 is your door status output, maybe a local alarm. If you're going to use that, add and press OK. 7 is for door 2, add, press it's OK. And 9, door status output, click on add, check it's alright and press OK. Once that's finished, press finish and you'll see it be added to the device tree. Now let's add these to an access area. Click on configuration, then define, then access area. Right click, add an entrance, give it a name, office for example. Click OK. At the bottom, show available devices. Click on that. We're going to add the entrances. So in this case, it's the MPA readers. We're going to add them to the office. Simply highlight, click, and then drag to the office. Now let's con concentrate on the control area, show available devices again, right click, add site, uh, add branch, sorry, branch name, office, click OK. In the office, we want to show available devices again. This time we've got to add the panel, the connector, highlight. Click and then drag to Office. And we want to add the entrances, the doors. Again, highlight, click and drag to Office in this case. Next, let's configure the access levels. Go to Card. Click on Access Level. Now we want to define who can get in and out of an area. In this case, it's a new application, so we'll, we'll have to create a new area. So first of all, all doors, that means access all doors. It's available on the default account, so click, click OK. And then we're going to give temporary access to maybe just the front door of the shop. So temp and then default. Click OK. Go to the access area and right click. At the top where it says access area, just right click, configure, and all doors will be able to have access to all entrances. You'll see the doors go green. That's for all doors, all access. Temporary access, we're just going to do the retail, the shop. Right click, configure, select access just for this door, press OK. And there we have it. Our door is now successfully added to Wimpack. We just need to initialize it. Go to operations, 
control map, find the door in question, highlight it, right click, initialize, and let's send all, send all those commands to the controller. Press OK, and it will start sending the commands. Once all the commands are sent, the unit's updated and now added to Winpack. The last stage is to add cards. Simply go to Card, Card Holder. In Operations, press Add. Type in the first name of the user. Second name. Cards. We need to add a card. Fortunately, I happen to know a card number off the top of my head, so it's one zero 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 five six seven four. That's a card number. The card number is typically printed on the card or in the packet it comes from. Status is active. Access level. We're going to call it all doors. Press OK. Press OK again. Now we have a, an active user and an active user group. The final operation is just to, just to double check, go to operations, control map, click on the panel in question, initialize, just add the cards in this case, press OK. That will update the control with all the latest card numbers. Consider that this video is instructing you how to add controls to an existing system. So this should be cards already added. Um, for new installations, you should really check with um, the manual on adding deleting users, adding site codes, card numbers, and reader configuration. Thanks very much for watching.